hi guys welcome to cyber academy in today's lesson i'm gonna show you that how to divide decimals by decimal so if you know how to divide decimals by decimals then congratulations but if you don't know then don't worry in this video you will learn the complete concept of how to divide decimals by decimals in this question we have to divide 2.92 by 1.6 so 2.92 divided by 1.6 so 2.92 divided by 1.6 multiplied by 10 divided by 10 to multiply 2.92 by 10 we get 29.2 divided by 16 now here we can divide 29.2 by 16 easily so 29.2 divide by 16 how many times does 16 goes into 29 so 16 times 1 is 16 subtract 16 from the 29 the remainder is 13 again we see that 13 is less than 16 so we have to bring down the 2 near 13 to make it 132 so we will carry the decimal point to the quotient and bring down the 2 near 13 which as 132 now how many times does 16 goes into 132 so 8 times 6 is the 8 right 8 and carry 4 8 times 1 is 8 plus 4 is 12 so subtract 128 from 132 the remainder is 4 but here 4 is less than 16 so we will put 0 and the dividend and bring down at near 4 to make at 40 now how many times does 16 goes into 40 so 16 times 2 is 32 subtract 32 from 40 the remainder is 8 again 8 is less than 16 so again we will put 0 and the dividend and bring down 8 near 8 to make it 80. Now how many times does 16 goes into 80? So 16 times 5 is 80. Subtract 80 from 80 the remainder is 0. So we can say that 2.92 divided by 1.6 is equal to 1.825. This is our final answer. Now here is another question. We have to divide 7.7 .7 by 3.5. So we can write this expression as a fraction. So 7.7 .7 divided by 3.5 is equal to 7.7 .7 divided by 3.5 multiplied by 10 over 10, which is equal to 77 over 35 because when we multiply 7.7 .7 by 10 we get 77 and when we multiply 3.5 by 10 we get 35 now we can easily divide 77 by 35 so 77 divided by 35 how many times does 35 goes into 77 so 2 times 35 is 70 subtract 70 from 77 the remainder is 7 but 7 is less than 35 put decimal point in the dividend and put a zero in the dividend we have to carry the decimal point to the quotient and bring down the zero near 7 to make it 70 2 times 35 is 70 subtract 70 from 70 the remainder is 0 7.7 .7 divided by 30.5 is equal to 2.2 this is our final answer so this question 8.5 divided by 3.5 and comment the answer of this question in the comment section in this question we have to divide 6.24 by 7.8 so 6.24 divided by 7.8 so 6.24 divided by 7.8 multiplied by 10 over 10 which is equal to 62.4 divided by 78 now we can easily divide 62.4 by 78 so 62.4 divided by 78 how many times does 78 goes into 62 or either less than 62.4 78 times 0 is 0 subtract 0 from 62 the remainder is 62 to create the decimal point to the quotient and bring down the 4 near 62 to make it 624. So 8 times 8 is 64, right? 4 and carry 6. 
8 times 7 is 56 plus 6 is 62. Subtract 624 from 624, the remainder is 0. So we can say that 6.24 divided by 7.8 is equal to 0 0.8. This is our final answer. Now here is another question 4.37 divided by 1.9. So 4.37 divided by 1.9 is equal to 4.37 divided by 1.9 multiplied by 10 and divided by 10 is equal to 43.7 divided by 19 now we can easily divide 43.7 by 19 so 43.7 divided by 19 19 times 2 is 38 subtract 38 from 43 the remainder is 5 now 5 is less than 19 so we will carry the decimal point to the quotient and bring down the 7 near 5 which make at 57. Now 19 times 3 as 57. Subtract 57 from 57 the remainder is 0. Now we can say that 4.37 divided by 1.9 is equal to 2.3. This is our final answer. In this question, we have to divide 2.73 by 1.3. So 2.73 divided by 1.3 is equal to 2.73 divided by 1.3 multiplied by 10 and divided by 10, which is equal to 27.3 divided by 13. 27.3 divided by 13. How many times does 3 goes into 27? So 2 times 13 is 26. Subtract 26 from 27. The remainder is 1. Carry the decimal point to the quotient and bring down the 3 near 1 to make it 13. 13 times 1 is 13. Subtract 13 from 13. The remainder is 0. So 2.73 divided by 1.3 is equal to 2.1. This is our final answer. In this question, we have to divide 8.91 by 3.3. So 8.91 divided by 3.3, which is equal to 8.91 divided by 3.3 multiplied by 10 and divided by 10, which is equal to 89.1 divided by 33. So 89.1 divided by 33. 33 times 2 is 66, subtract 66 from 89, the remainder is 23. We will carry the decimal point to the quotient and bring down the one near 23. Now how many times does 33 goes into 231? 7 times 3 is 21, right? 1 and carry 2. 7 times 3 is 21 plus 2 is 23. Subtract 231 from 231, the remainder is 0. So we can say that 8.91 divided by 3.3 is equal to 2.7. In this question, we have to divide 3.68 by 0.4. So 3.68 divided by 0.4 is equal to 3.68 divided by 0 0.4 multiplied by 10 and divided by 10 which is equal to 36.8 divided by 4. Right, so we can easily divide 36.8 by 4. So 36.8 divided by 4. 4 times 9 is 36. Subtract 36 from 36. The remainder is 0. Now carry the decimal point to the quotient and bring down the 8 near 0 to make it only 8. 4 times 2 is 8. Subtract 8 from the 8. The remainder is 0. So 3.68 divided by 0 0.4 is equal to 9.2. This is our final answer. So dear viewers, thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos related to maths. No dear viewer, pause the video and try to solve this question and write the answer in the comment section.